Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kells, man. And uh, first of all, I want to apologize to all my fans in Chicago and basically all around the world, wherever, you know, I'm performing at, and they cancel me. Um, I don't know why they canceled the show. Uh, I never heard of a show being canceled because of rumors, but I guess it's the first time for everything, so I apologize to you guys. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to get to the bottom line of it, you know, uh, as far as my lawyers is concerned, to see exactly what happened and why I was canceled. Uh, until then, man, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next come around you understand i hope you guys you know don't put that on me you know it ain't on me all right one all right mr telefellow tv that was the voice of r kelly who is now um his career is the back end of his career is in shambles well let's make it clear r kelly has had a lot of success throughout his career and um i don't think he should be the one to complain right because i'm pretty sure that brother has made a lot of money over time he might have some f you money right and i don't want to do a deep dive in this situation because a lot of it is speculation because we don't know what happened in this man home or what didn't happen with consenting adults here's the only thing i'll say and i'll get back into the facts because i do have a statement from r kelly and his team the thing that throws it off with me if r kelly was an innocent man is the silence that's the only thing when I, I sometimes as a society in this social media age we associate silence with guilt and a lot of times that is the case is it r kelly situation i don't know um you first off i associate the silence with what's going on then i associate his past he did marry Aaliyah when she was 15 right Look, I don't know what y'all seen on that tape, but it definitely looks like R. Kelly on that tape. So I'm just saying, R. Kelly's past is affecting his his now, right? That that's a part of it, and his silence. These are parts, and you know, there is a generation out there that really doesn't like talking for good or for bad. You got to think R. Kelly's been getting money for a long time. He hasn't necessarily needed to do media in a long time because he has some of the biggest records ever. As a matter of fact, after Michael Jackson, I'll put R. Kelly's catalog of songs. Catalog. I'll put his catalog up with anybody. I think he has a better catalog than Beyonce or Bruno Mars combined. I think his catalog is, is probably number two ever, right? So R. Kelly never had to do media. The only time he would ever have to do media is when he's addressing this stuff that he's been accused of. And heck, between like 2000 to what, 2015, 16, R. Kelly was in the news, but never to, to these magnitudes, you didn't have families coming out like this, right? Accusing R. Kelly of having a sex code in his crib in Atlanta and not giving them food or water when they desired it, holding them against their will. You have a lot of people coming out against R. Kelly now. So let's read this statement that R. Kelly and his team have provided. And, and um, he provided this statement because I want to be as uh, transparent as possible with the Metro UK. And, um, and this is what R. Kelly said. My, my team has advised me that is, this is not a proper platform to express my emotions. I will not discuss details about these false allegations that have been made against me. I will say that I am infuriated and I am heartbroken by the false claims against me. These allegations and accusations being perpetuated by the media is an attempt to distort my character and to destroy my legacy that I have worked so hard to build. These allegations have created a character of me that is not the truth of who I am nor what I am about. The women in my life are consenting adults and they were with me on their free will. I am a God-fearing man, a son, a brother, and most importantly, a father. The media has dissected and manipulated these false allegations to reach their own conclusions about me and what I do in my personal life. My focus has always been music and being in the music industry at this time. My faith and my love for music are the only things that have not been affected. The devil is a liar. To whom much is given, from him much expected. To all my fans, I love you from the deepest part of me. I am nothing without you, my fans. Thank you very much for all your support. I am a God-fearing man, and through God's grace and mercy, I will survive. Those are words from R. Kelly and his team in a statement to the Metro UK. I think it's worth noting that this is the first time, to the best of my knowledge, where R. Kelly has even acknowledged some of these women 
who have made claims out against him. I think that's very big, all right? If I'm just kind of reading this thing here, that's very big because, like I said, R. Kelly doesn't even address a lot of the rumors on his name unless he has to legally. And the fact that he's acknowledging that some of these women coming out are people that he might have did have sexual escapades with, it's very important, very important because at first it felt like R. Kelly and his team was trying to use the argument that they don't know who the hell these women are. All right, that's just kind of how I was looking at it. I'm not saying they said that, but they, they were just avoiding it, right? Also think it's worth noting before I get on out of here that Ava DuVernay and a team around her are definitely trying to throw the hammer at R. Kelly and they're going with a hashtag, I believe, Mute R. Kelly. And they're trying to get him out the culture once and for all. They want all his shows canceled. And um, they think it's been a long overdue process to get him removed um, from a, a person who has significant weight in the culture. And, you know, they're they're looking out for these these women who have been, I guess, held upon against their will, allegedly. Right. And um, they think R. Kelly's past is enough evidence to be able to say, yo, this is not a good person. So you, you guys talk to me in the comment box below. R. Kelly comes out and makes a statement. His shows are getting canceled. And um, it's finally to the point where he can't go on anymore. He has to talk about these things. Does he want to do interviews? I'm not 100% sure. But we're close to that point where he doesn't have a choice if they're canceling all his shows because, the, you know, promoters are like, yo, sorry, bro. There's like 3,000 protests going on outside. There's like a hate. There's like a, a, a coalition outside against you because of what people are claiming you've done in your life. So we can't have you on our stage tonight. They're claiming they're going to do this. They're claiming they're going to do that. And R. Kelly's losing money. Um, I want to say I believe fans are still coming out because R. Kelly still has this very, very, very loyal fan base. But even that number slowly, slowly is starting to uh, disintegrate a little bit and deteriorate. So we will see what happens. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. They coming for your boy Kells, man. And um, I can't say I blame him because he the silence, man, that silence in that past is kind of hunting him right now. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.